let's talk about VL Mike. We ain't gonna go into the situation that happened, but you know what I'm saying? You know, hell, rest in peace, VL. That was all our brother right there. Uh man, what kind of this dude was a live wire, bro. I love that nigga though, man. What kind of what kind of to you, what kind of energy did this nigga bring to the table, man? This nigga Mike was crazy as a motherfucker. That, that was fucking like <laughs> It's just the shit he would say, like, you know what I'm saying? Even, like, the lyrics, like, you take a, a G knife and kick a hole in your fucking chest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? He was just on his own time, you feel me? And yeah. he, was, he, was older than, he was older than all of us in the group, yep. so he was like, my brother. But so the minute he came around, you know what I'm saying? He embraced me with open arms. It's like me and him had that fucking chemistry. We locked in, you know, eight down. You know? He was a flash nigga, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, he was high-headed, you uh -huh. feel me? That bitch ain't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? Being out there in the streets, I guess that would get it to him coming up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know his struggle. Hey, hey, check this out. I'm gonna tell you this story, Slack. Like, hey, you know how, day, hey, check this out. I'm gonna tell you this story, man. You know how you know how me and Mike got close, bro. Check this out. This is funny shit. I ain't never told about this shit. Hey, so listen, this is how I first met Mike. He comes, he coming to the office at Chopper City, right? He coming out to uh he coming in there to uh meet with Carol about some music or whatever. This is the this is the first office in Metro, you feel me? So uh I go, I go in the office, Mike and there. We walk past, yeah. I walk, we look at each other. We don't speak though. We look each other up and down. We don't say nothing to each other. I come talk to Carol, I leave back out. You feel me? Right. Next day, now keep in mind, we looked at each other. We didn't speak. He looked at me, he didn't say shit. I ain't say shit to him. You know what I'm saying? I, I walked out. Well, uh, well uh, this was division? Huh? Huh? This was the office on division? Or on division, on division. division, yeah. So he back there in Carol back office. He, he back up talking, the door closed. She called me to bring some music or something now. So I go in there. I got to go past him to get the hook. We look each other up and down. We don't say shit to each other. You feel what I'm saying? He don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I leave out the office. The next day, Carol in the studio, she got me playing some music. And that's Jesus' song, uh, I do what I got to do to stay out chill. Because believe me, these cheesy has been out chill. I hear somebody come on rapping. I've been out chill. Right. Boy, you don't know my pain. I got busted up time, a thousand grams of pure cocaine. I said, who was just talking like this? Somebody got caught with all that. She said, that's VL yeah. Mike, Ma. I said, that little skinny dude who was in the office yesterday. <laughs> she said, don't let that shit fool you, man. Ma, Mike crazy as a motherfucker. I said, this little dude, this him talking like this? She said, yeah, that's Mike. I said, damn, okay. So I started listening to him then. We still hadn't spoken. I said, okay, this nigga spit some shit right here. He coming to the office the next day. I ain't yeah. gonna record him in the studio. Get what he tell me. He tell me, yeah, man, when you walking in, you ain't speak to me, man. I like that shit, because I be doing niggas like that, too. <laughs> I was like, this nigga Mike. <laughs> I was like, this nigga Mike, right? That's why I knew Coco did. Nigga say, I like how you speak to me because I do niggas like that too, bro. It was a live wire. You know I mean? he, he was he was very observant. He, yeah. He watching, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's going on, you feel me? Like figuring niggas out, you know what I'm saying? Seeing who he could attack, uh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? How he could attack a situation. But like I said, at the end of the day, he was a good nigga, you know what I'm saying? Good, Man, that yeah, nigga, yeah. like, yeah. I mean, he can't. So tough, it was, it was like a snipe and Mike, you know what I'm saying? Like for real. Yeah. Like yeah, for man. real, for real. Like I was that nigga was like my big brother. He was showing me a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? For real. He used to come get me a dig. I mean one day he came and got me. I was in the east, you feel me? He came and got me in like a like yellow Ferrari, you feel me? And I was like, damn, bitch, you doing it like that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he had his line, he was doing it. Like it he, he was doing like, a little he shit. Put yeah. me a couple of yeah, for sure. That nigga put sure. me on a couple. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I, I was big bro. You feel me? I hate to see that shit happen to him. Like, yeah, that, man. I had to yeah. talk to him. Yeah, man. My birthday was April 18. You feel me? My birthday was April 18. He died April 20. I had just talked to him. He had called me. He was in that. And I was in the NOP. He called me to wish me a happy birthday. Like, man, brother, I'll be down there in a little while. You feel me? I'm like, I right, let me know. We can link up soon. Get down. And fuck, when I got that news, I'm like, Fuck that shit, y'all! I had called the radio and everything. I was on the radio, but why? I ain't talking about that shit. I be deep, you know what I'm saying? 